okay welcome to the tutorial so i'll be showing you how to um do the testimonial yourself and uh, maybe a few other things too so let's get started right away so actually when you go when you are logged in you should uh, be at the dashboard so this is where i do it the other, uh, the other stuff first so now this is where you should be this is where you should be actually after you log in you should be you will be placed there on this page the index index page for the wp admin and so now if you want to add the testimonial because of the kind of testimonial it is all i did was create a page so we we'll just go to pages and view all the pages there now so i created a page and i used an uh, image carousel to do all the image all the images you get so i'll just um create one from scratch for you to see what i'm actually talking about so now if you are starting from scratch actually actually you click you click on add new so we name this testimonial tests or we name it testimonial 2 either of it is well i'll use testimonial 2 actually so the new name will be testimonial testimonial too okay um we got that we got our right we got our right okay so So the place in blue is the title bar is where we input the title for the page. You understand? And this is where the contents will be. But before we do that, we have to just um click on this the back end editor. So let's do that right now. So back end editor. So you have this. So this is Vasha Composer. This is what I use in building the website, you know. So now we click on add elements. Add elements click on add elements this click on add elements you know so now i click on add elements uh for you to get to the for you to get to it very fast click on team add-ons click on team add-ons okay and uh, you go to image carousel i get him image carousel so you wait for it to load depending on the network to load you know so here yeah. now now if we add the testimonials okay the images so now the image library will load up for us and uh, actually if we are uploading a new testimonial we click on upload files we select the file for our system anywhere anywhere it is and uh, we upload but since we have the image on the uh, on our website already all we have to do is click on media library to bring us the media library default so we click on one and we hold down the control on the system and without that we can do it you know just click on it just click on it just click on it okay for example i now make a mistake i clicked on this i click on it again you can see it's not leaving okay if i want to remove a picture from what i've clicked on already i have to go to the mark button there you understand so you click on the mark button so it will return to minus then click on it then to be removed just like that and i'll click on it as many images as possible that i want so it's showing us the selected amount here it's showing us the selected amount here showing us the selected amount there can you see showing us the selected amount there uh so you can see these two so you know selected amounts then so so when we are done with adding the pictures when we are done when we are done click on add images wait for it to load you can see it's not loading on the website directly that's the work of ajax javascript so all we have to do is wait for some few minutes but it might not happen so the last for us to the course we click on the images once more i mean once more one more time so we click on it 
yeah you can see automatically you know uh, what you are seeing here is the picture you picked at first, not the second one you picked. Okay, the second one you know you click, you don't click on add images before it came here. So now it's asking us for carousel layout. So it's asking us you want only one image, two images, three. You know, on the default one I used three. So you want, and on the front page I used four. If you check very well, you can see it is four images displaying at a time. So, but for the similar page, it's three, three, you know. So, yeah. I make it three so it is asking us for max image width since we don't want the image width and height to be controlled we leave that alone and since we don't want the images to be cropped you understand we disable these two the navigation arrows are the arrows beside it and i'll show you the preview of what i'm saying now um <coughs> oh, sorry So view more. So view more the testimonial page. The testimonial page now, uh, which is where we are. Let's uh, let's wait for it to load. Uh, let's wait for it to load. So here we are. So the navigation arrows, the navigation arrows are these. The navigation arrows are these. So the navigation arrow is this, you know, this. What I'm actually clicking on right now is the navigation arrows. The navigation arrows, okay. And uh, so we want it enabled, enabled, front disabled, disabled. And navigation dots are this, the blue ones beside it here, are navigation dots, you know, to change the images you get. And um, I will have it auto play for it to move automatically. If you want it enabled, we enable. And uh, yeah, we set the speed, auto play speed in milliseconds. So I used um, 20 seconds for the front, for the uh, for the uh, home page. Now it's 30 seconds for the testimonial page, you know. And if it's 10 seconds, well, that will be 10,000. Okay, 10,000 milliseconds. So and uh, this one open original images in light box what that means is this you can see this eye icon when you click on it for this to come up that's what it's talking about here so if you want it enabled you click on enabled then after that we just click on save changes then after that all we have to do is publish page i wait for it to load Network is slow, you know. Um, you don't have to bear with me now. All we have to do is view page. So you can see the testimonial too. You can see it is there, it is there. So now you have an additional one to use, you have an additional picture to add. All you have to do is repeat that process on the same page. Let me show you what I'm seeing now. Now, because I don't want any issue, I don't want any problem. All I have to do is add, then go here, then click on image carousel. Add image. Select the images I want. Okay, you get me. Uh, I upload them. And I add images. You know, the same issue we are working on uh you know so we just add it again and uh, we wait for it to pick it up you know
okay are you listening so we add it we select the layout once again you understand and i don't want any issue we could have gone here and add more we could have done that but it might not work out for us which is why i uh it will work out actually but we'll have to reclick the image again so i don't i don't want any issue that's why i use this we just set all these stops and click on save changes then delete the first one okay you delete it it deletes it you know it duplicates edit so we update and that's it thanks for watching uh if you have any issue problem or whatever all you have to do is contact me through my email science one one uh gmail.com and i'll reply in on the 13 minutes Thanks.